Okay, in this video we're going to have a look at drawing the front view, top view and left view of a hexagonal based pyramid, but we're going to draw it at an angle, tilted. Okay, so as with the prism, the first view we're going to have to start with here is going to be the auxiliary view of this pyramid, where we can see the true shape of it. And this pyramid now we're going to tilt at a 45 degree angle. So we're going to take the pyramid, we're going to tilt it over, tip it over like that at a 45 degree angle. So to start off with, you've got to draw your first base side at a 45 degree angle, because that's what we said we've tilted it at. And if it's been tilted at a 45 degree angle, we need a first line at a 45 degree angle. And the reason for that is, of course, because your two angles together have got to give us 90 degrees. So I'm going to use a length here of 30 millimeters for my sides. So that's the first side of my auxiliary view. And I'm then going to go and construct the rest of the auxiliary view because it's a hexagon again. So we're going to do that hexagon construction off of that line which is at a 45 degree angle. We use our, our normal standard circle construction to go and complete our hexagon. Okay, once we've done our hexagon at a 45 degree angle, we then of course remember have to go and draw in our first XY line. And because our shape is tilted at a 45 degree angle, our XY line will also be drawn in at a 45 degree angle. So once I've got this in here, then I can go and draw in that first XY line. Remember it's got to be 10 millimeters away from the base. So I'm going to mark off that 10 millimeter gap and then use my 45 degree set square to draw in that first XY line. And I'm going to mark it as XY. Now remember I said because this is at 45 degrees, that's why that baseline there was at 45 degrees. That's because we were taking this and we were that's our normal that's our normal front view. We've taken in this shape now and instead of drawing it normally like that Okay, we've taken it and we've tilted it like that at a 45 degree angle. Okay, that's why we've now got this line at a 45 degree. And you can see that baseline over there. That's tilted at a 45 degree angle. And that's why we've drawn that baseline in at a 45 degree angle. And then gone and constructed our auxiliary view that we're going to use to now go and draw the, go and draw the, the front view of the shape at a 45 degree angle. Another thing that's important here, remember that we said that this egg, we flip across and over an XY line and that this auxiliary view was technically a bottom view of our shape. So this, this uh, view over here is actually a bottom view like that of our pyramid. Now if you're drawing a bottom view of a pyramid, you can't see any of, the, of these angled lines as dark lines. They're actually all hidden detail lines because this is a bottom view. So when we draw out the rest of this view over here, each of the lines that are meant to go to the center point over there, like you would normally draw in the top view of a pyramid, have to be drawn in as hidden detail lines because this is actually the bottom view of the shape and not the top view. So we're just going to draw those in to complete that auxiliary view. Okay, so now that shows us that that's the bottom view of that shape, okay, which now we're now going to flop down and we're going to go and draw the front view of that pyramid over here by projecting across our XY line. And now remember that we've always got to project at a 90 degree to the XY line. So because that XY line is at a 45 degree that way, we have to project back at 45 degrees because the two 45 degrees, 45 plus 45, gives us our 90 degree angle that we always want when we project 
across our XY line. So we're going to go and we're going to project each of those points, including the center point over there, we're going to project those across our XY line. And then again, of course, we have to number. So I'm going to start over there, number each of my corners, and I'm also going to number the center point over there. And then, remember, we've got to have our 10 millimeter gap between our XY line and the start of our drawing, so I'm going to go and mark that. But now with our prism, we drew in a dark line here, but we can't do that this time because, of course, remember, we're drawing a front view of a pyramid. So that first point over there is just a dot. And we then have to go and draw in the height of our pyramid. We're going to say we're going to use 70 millimeters again here for the height of our pyramid. So we're going to measure that along this line now from where we made that point. Mark that off. And then we can draw in the base line of that pyramid, which will go in over there. And then we can draw in, the, of course, the sides, which go up to that center point, which we've marked off there. So we can draw that in. And we can draw that in over there. And then if you clearly look, of course, in that front view, you've got two more angled lines coming up from these two points here. And we've already projected those across and down. So from each of those points, we can go and draw in two more dark lines over there to complete the tilted front view of our pyramid. Now, again, we've got to go and transfer our numbers. We know that this is point 0.7. We can clearly see that that over there is point 0.1 and clearly see that that over there is point 0.4. But then, remember, as with the prism, that point 3 and point 5, okay, remember that it's, that's a bottom view. So, there's our point 3. You can see the point 3 over there. There's our point 5. So, if we take this, that's, this one's point 3, that's point 5. We take this, flop it down to this view. Our point 3 is at the top here. So, we see 3 first and 5 below it. Okay, so this point will be labeled as 3 first and then 5 because we can see first point, first point 3 and then 5. We bring this back up here. We can look at it one more time. There's our point 3. Okay, there's our 5. And as we flop this down, 3 over here is a top on top on top. There's point 3 still on top and point 5 is underneath it. So we label that as 3 comma 5. And then same thing here with 2 and 6, that will be labeled as 2 first and then 0 0.6, 2, 6, because 2 will come up and 2 will be up here, seen first, and 6 down here, seen second. Okay, that then completes our labeling for our front view. Now we're going to go and draw in our XY line to start our top view. We do our 10 millimeter gap over there again. We go and draw in our XY line. We're going to extend that because we know we're going to need that for our left view later. Okay, we're going to label that as our X1 and Y1. And then we're going to do the same process as what we did with the prism. We're going to project all of these points down and then use our measurements. We take point 0.7, project point 0.7 down, and we're working off this XY line. So now we're going to go one XY line back and take the measurement from the XY line 2.7. So we're going to take the measurement from there. We're going to measure that. That comes out as 37 millimeters. We're now going to take that measurement and we're going to go and plot it on the line for 0.7 over here. Said 37 millimeters. I measure from the XY line down. There's my 37. Mark it off. And now that point over there is my 0.7. And I've taken my measurement down to there. So the measurement from here has been moved to here, measured from the XY line down, because I measured from the XY line up over there on my auxiliary view. Now we're going to do the same thing with all the base points over here. There are fewer points to do it on a, on a prism, uh, on a, a pyramid, compared to a prism. So we've just got point 0.1 there, the line for my point 0.2 and my point 0.6. 
a line for point 0.3 and point 0.5 and a line for point 0.4. A lot of people go and project this point as well by mistake, but remember that's not a point on the base at all. That belonged to point 0.7 over there. This has got nothing to do with the base. Okay, and there's no corner over there on the base at all. So no need to project that line down. Then, of course, we're going to go and measure from our XY line to get point 0.1. We measure from there to point 1, that's 37 millimeters. We go and measure from the XY line down, and that will give us our point 1. We mark that off over there, and you'll see that point 4, point 1 of course will line up with point 7, and point 4 will line up with it as well if you go and take that measurement from there. And then point 0.5 and point 0.6 we should already know is 10 millimeters away from that XY line because that's the measurement we put in there. So we can immediately go and measure our 10 millimeters away and draw a construction line across there. And we know that that will give us our point 0.5 over here and our point 0.6 over here. And then our point 0.2 and our point 0.3 we're going to have to measure those. From the XY line up to point 3, if we measure that, that's 63 millimeters. So now I'm going to measure from my XY line down over here. What did we say? 63. Okay, so we're going to measure down from the XY line down 63 millimeters. That point is now my point 5. And my point 6 will also come out as 63 millimeters if I go and measure that. And my point 0.6 will be over there. It's very important that you remember to measure that because you're measuring from the XY line to get the measurement of the point here in the auxiliary view, that you plot the point from the XY line down. If you make a mistake and you do it 10 millimeters away, then you're going to go and find that these second lot of points over here will come out completely wrong and it will completely mess up your top view. Now that we've got that in our top view, if we go and look at the top view of this shape over here, okay, again we're going to have some hidden detail lines. You look at the top view of that, you're going to be able to see this dark line over here quite clearly. You'll see another dark line there and there. You're even going to see these dark lines here, okay, but you're not going to see this line underneath over here. You're also not going to see this angled line underneath there. That'll be hidden detail, and the same as that angled one under there, also hidden detail. So we can go and draw in, happily draw in a dark line over there and there because we know we're going to see both of those lines at the base. We know that we would see the edge over there and over there. And then as we said, this line 5-4 is underneath the shape. So it's hidden detail. Same as this one on this side here. You can see that I've incorrectly labeled over here. There's my point 5. This, over, these, this 5 and that 6 was meant to be 2 and 3. I hope you picked that up in my explanation. That was meant to be point 2 over there. That was meant to be 2. And this over here was meant to be 3. Apologies for that. Please just make sure that you've got that labeling over there correct. That's meant to be 2 and that's 3. That's from that measurement there and from that measurement there. Okay, so we've got those drawn in, and then last but not least is going to be joining up these lines here. We said we'd be able to see this line from point 6, okay, very quite clearly. You see, you'll be able to see that line from point 6 over there. We'll also be able to see the one from point 5. So I've got this turned the wrong way around. Let's get this right way around there. Okay, you'll also be able to see the one from point 0.5 because if you look at your top view, that's at quite a bit of an angle. So we'll be able to see this dark line over here for point 0.5. Also be able to see the dark line from point 0.3 and the one from point 0.2 and then the one, of course, from corner 1. The only hidden detail one would be the one from point 0.4 over there, but because there's a dark line drawn across it, we can't draw a hidden detail line in over there, so that would complete our top view. Once we've drawn our top view, now we're quickly going to go in and draw that left view as well. And for that left view, again, we're going to go much further away from our top view to the right over here, so that we are, our XY line is out the way of that auxiliary view. 
Okay, and we're going to call this long XY line here. That would be X2, Y2. And then we're going to project across over that. Of course, you've got to add in your 45 degree line down the bottom over here to project off of. Okay, so we're going to go and project each of our points across onto our 45 degree line. Same as what we did with our prism. And then we'll project those up into our left view. From where they hit the 45 degree line. And then we go and project our lines in over here. Okay, from our front view. There's our point 7. We project our point 7. And that of course will line up with our point 7 over here. So that will be 7. The other line, points that will line, be on that line will be point 1 and 4 from our top view here. So if we can take point 1 across, that will be point 1 on that same line. And then point 4 across, that will be point 4 on that same line. And then our point 5 and point 6 will be on this line as it goes across and up. So there's our point 5. We can take that across and mark it. And there's our point 6. We can take that across and mark it there then our point two and our point three will be on this line over here so we can take our point three which is in line with our point five mark that off and then our point two which is in line with our point six mark that off okay now this is a left view so there's our shape there we're looking at the left side over here so our left view is going to look like that You'll be able to see the whole of the base, but only part of the top angled lines. So we can draw that whole base in. We can draw that whole base in dark. Because we know we can see the whole base in the left view. If it was a right view, then you wouldn't be able to see the whole base. You'd only see part of it. But we're doing a left view, so... For, the, for my drawing and then of course to get to point 7 you got to join each of those corners to point 7 we'll know that that one will be, will be a dark line we know that this one will be a dark line but now if you can look here you can see that that point from that line from point 7 to point 5 over there that's going underneath the base so we know that that line over there is going to be a hidden detail line we're not going to be able to see it the same thing with this line from 7 all the way through point 4. It's also going to be a hidden detail line. And then also my line from 7 through to point 3. That's going to be a hidden detail line as well. But of course we can't forget about the line from point 1 to point 7. If we have a look here. That point line from point 1 to point 7. That's that line over there. So we can see that as a dark line. So that is going to go over that hidden detail line. So you won't even see the hidden detail line. You're only going to see that dark line in that view. Okay, and that completes your left view and your top view of your hexagonal based pyramid.